Today I'm going to make a knee pad. It's going to be homemade because that's what I do. This knee pad consists of two parts, a little pillow, and a brace to make sure it stays on. Materials you're going to need. Some scrap fabric. These are pieces from a Renaissance costume I did for Halloween. Some pins. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah. Some old leggings. These are the ones I used on the other knee brace, knee pad, whatever you want to call it. We've got some scissors that we'll need, a sewing machine, and some stuffing. I would put these leggings on and show you what it looks like on my leg, but I haven't shaved, so I'm not doing it. So I'm going to put some pins in to measure off where I've already cut my little jagged line and then I'm going to cut across there. So as you can see I have my pins in and now I'm going to do the cut. Let's see if I can cut with only one hand without cutting my bedspread. That'll be an amazing feat. Alright, come on. There we go. One handed. Woohoo! So now I'm just going to remove the pins. Da da da. It's a happy song. The da 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 song. I've taken the scrap fabric, I've folded it over. I'm going to put some pins in it to make two pieces of fabric that are roughly square shaped and are exactly the same size. I am, however, mastering the one-handed scissor technique passed down from my ancestors straight down to me. <laughs> Losing the fabric. Now I'm going to just cut up this side and even this side out. And I'm going to cut up this side and even this side out. Here we have two pieces that are the same exact size. I'm going to set up the sewing machine to sew down the edges across and then up and around a little so that I have a hole to actually stuff in. The stuffing. I'm just gonna sew. The camera is gonna fall over because I have it propped up, which is always great fun. Uh, so this is the low setting on my little machine here, and we're gonna be real careful in how we do this because I don't want to get my fingers and I want it to go through like it should. I need both hands to do reverses. So when you get to this point, you want to put your needle in, lift the feet. We're going to give her a little turn. And then I'm going to do the other two and a half sides. I've got those sides sewed up. I've double stitched at the corners and at anywhere that the thread starts to kind of secure it. I didn't do it over here because I was trying to do too much with only one hand, but it goes all the way around. And now I'm going to trim up the edges so that they're really close to the stitching without going over the stitching. As you can see, we're all trimmed up now. And there's the pile of scraps. They're kind of neat in my opinion, but I'm weird. So now I'm going to inside out this little pillow uh, at the open spot that I made. Just gonna flip it. I can't do that one-handed, however, so 
I'll do that in a moment and show Here it is all flipped over. Now you can be fancy and take an iron and press it. I'm not going to be fancy. I don't want to get out my iron and I don't want to do any ironing tonight. I just want to have another little knee pad for when I scrub my kitchen floor tomorrow. So I'm going to stuff this now, which I believe I might be able to do one-handed, at least at the beginning. So we've got our fluff. And the inside of the pillow. That's a horrible angle, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to use it anyway. Maybe I can hold the camera with my face. Let me figure. Um, stuffing one-handed is apparently not a thing that's happening. So I realized my mistake right here. I do not have a corner. You want a corner here. I'm going to roll with it. You could, I could take it apart and do it all over again with fixing this corner and then restuff it. It's not going to take very long to do. I just don't want to. I don't feel a need to. So I'm going to fix that and sew up this hole right here. Okie dokie. So I'm all done. I've made the tiniest, come on camera, tiniest of tiny stitches. The whole point is you're not supposed to really be able to see them. Uh, you can still tell a difference, but it's not too bad because of how small they are and how much the thread matches the fabric. So that's it. I'm done. My two pieces are complete. So the final product works like this. You have your pillow. You have your brace. Pillow goes into the brace. And the limb that you want the pillow on goes between the brace and the pillow. Pretty simple. There it is. My new growth. <laughs> I'm joking. It is just the knee pad. It will keep my knee from getting damaged when I do the floors tomorrow morning. When I drive, I wear it on the outside of my knee. So that way it doesn't hurt to lean my knee against the door for long car trips. It's really helpful. You can use it as a knee pad. You can also use it for bracelets. This is how I use it to make my bracelets that I craft pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. They say it isn't over until the fat lady sings. Well, in this case, the fat cat's singing. Bye. 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 Bye.